Ladies, 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 he is back again. Mike Ross, the nation's sexiest comedian. He'll be performing in a city near you. Be sure to come out and enjoy an amazing show. Mike on the mic. Mike on the mic. Looking forward to seeing you there. Promote your brand here at Viral Hip Hop News. Email me, Sam Ant at vhiphopnews.com. No, wait, let's go. The baby, man. <sighs> we got to talk about him because I think his God, projections, man. his first week projections were, what was it like uh, 17,000 or something like that? That's the high between 13 what? and 17. Absolutely <laughs> fucking abysmal. Man. But there might be some reason into that, though. Because, like I was telling you earlier, right? I don't know if you've been following the academics saga the last week or so. But bits and pieces stemming from what he said, he got into it with Ebro, and okay. they got into a very heated discussion. Academics was on one, he was calling him basically a gatekeeper, he was calling him a hoe, he was calling him all this shit, saying that he at Apple Music and his position at Apple Music has blackballed a lot of the top hip hop artists in the game, like Young Boy, right? Tory Lanes, he named 6 9 and one of those people were also the baby. This was five days ago, so he basically called out Ebro and said. Five days ago, remember, D bro, the baby has an album out. Tory drops next week. I'm gonna talk to Young Boy to get his next album date. Make sure you support all those artists. They are top artists in the genre. Stop using Apple Music as a weapon for your personal issues. You the boss it in playlist. So five wow. days after, we see his numbers are abysmal. He says the baby's last projection in 2020, blame it on the baby, sold 124 the first week. His new project, after being blackballed by Ebro, Apple Music is scheduled to do less than 20k. Now y'all understand my Ebro problem. DSPs control who is hot and who is not. Fall out over favor with them. You're done. Do you think any of this had to do with the fallout with Meg Thee Stallion at all? I mean, that was kind of way after that. Not even that. Not, not even that. The, the Meg Thee Stallion, but like the other things that the baby's been through. You know what I mean? The shit where he was on stage. I think it was like Rolling Loud. Yeah. He said something. Like It kind of seemed like it's been like a downward spiral. Then they had the thing in New Orleans where he said that he only sold like 500 something tickets to a show. They had to cancel the show, yeah. which him and his manager, I think, you know, try to refute that. Um, but a lot of people are starting to throw that word around. Was he blackballed? Is he this? Is he that? And I think you got to take heed to certain shit like that because that has to start from somewhere. That's just not coming out of the air like, oh, the baby is he this and that. I think he's going to be fine, but I don't know, man. Like, first of all, how academics know that was going on, you know what I mean? How how why would Apple give Ebro that much power to stifle out artists? That that would be my like two of my biggest questions with that whole thing. Do I believe stuff like that goes on? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, but I can't confirm it. Yeah. And then why would he do it to the baby out of all people cuz you know, I don't know. Here's my thing. We don't yeah. first off, neither one of us watch enough of Hot 9 7 content to even know how Ebro feels about the baby, feels about right. the, We don't know to act like we know, right? right? We don't watch that shit to know. But when you look at 124K his first week last year, and then we look at the shit that he been through, the Rolling Loud situation and a couple of legal incidents and the, and the Meg Thee Stallion, and yeah, they may turn a blind eye, but when has controversy ever drop somebody's numbers that bad in certain instances it actually <laughs> increases them right so okay i could see if he went from 124 to 105 i could see if he went from 124 to 98 124 to 17 dog something's in the air i don't know what that is is this shit just garbage now or what i mean like don't listen to it to know but then it, and even and even that whole he like people were saying that he was doing that whole meg the stallion thing which I think was true. He said he smashed Meg the Stand right before Tory hit it or whatever to like kind of boost his numbers up. I guess that ain't work. No, that no, didn't work. <laughs> so I, it, I would have to, like, in order for me, I know that this is what I know for sure. People in high places, when they get personal vendettas on you, they have the power to slow your shit down. Oh, yeah. If sure. it's personal. For example, YouTube, right? And I'm not saying YouTube has personal vendettas against anybody. Right. But if somebody behind that camera, can decide whether or not your thing is green or yellow. I'll put that out there for the people who know what that means. Right. They will look at your shit and go, nah, that's yellow. I don't like that. Right. They got the power to do that. So other people in higher positions, if they don't like you for whatever reason, and we would have to go back and do our research to see why Ebro wouldn't like the baby for this to go on, he would have the power to do that if Apple gave him the power to push the buttons and that. But 
We don't know, man. I think right. there is something in place. I don't want to sit back and act like he's blackballed. We can have our personal feelings about some of these characters in, in, in this conversation, but that doesn't matter at this point. I don't. I, I think he'll be all right, too, but these numbers and everything we've heard out from the baby recently as it pertains to music don't look good, man. Yeah, and it's just it's kind of the price you're going to have to pay for saying what he said, even though I, I don't know. I didn't At the time, I don't think it was that crazy, in my opinion, not what he this. said. Not, not for all of this is backlash, but again, you living in a hyper sensitive over sexualized you know what i mean society right now where to people like that is kind of frowned upon man it, it's sad like if you're gonna be an alpha male strong and kind of really speak your mind when is that to me that's like people attack that yep. at this point in time like you, you went too far or you're blackballed you're canceled you can't just speak your mind anymore right especially about certain groups of certain types of people but i don't know man i, I just think that you know, um, he'll be fine. He's got to just pivot and move forward. But that that's, you know, 100-something thousand to 17,000 is pretty huge. I would say that. Prove it. Prove it, academics. Prove it. I don't know how you can prove it. How, how do you know somebody? I know he gets a lot of information. I know a lot of people send him a lot of stuff. But that's something I would like to see you try to prove that because speculation and talking, I don't know. Yeah. And he's he's more connected to the industry than we are. So if anybody could prove it, it would be him. We don't know. We ain't there. We ain't listening. We ain't to that shit. So right. Some more information on that to confirm that would take it somewhere different. Definitely. Let's talk about.